Alrighty then, here's a video of this Russian Dagger Gun IRC. You can see, possibly on the side here, this is a, uh, well, it's a Russian Dagger Gun. Let's break it open. You don't want to hit me waste time. In the case, we have the extendable rod for testing things at a distance. It just connects the tube right here. You can check on the ground and whatnot. Boop, boop, boop. Very cool feature. It also comes with the manuals for uh, all the calibrations and whatnot it's done. Here's a lifty diagram of where everything goes in the box. And our old school Russian headset. We use this to bless the music. Very cool. Straps for attaching the case to your body. And a little bag of parts. So we have a, uh, a seal and some new light bulbs. These were the old battery connectors that I've actually corroded off after being in storage for like 30 years. Uh, we have here uh, an adapter so that we can put this into the battery box. And then you can plug it into your car if you need. That will power it. Okay. There's the little plastic baggies for covering up the dagger tube. And last but not least, we have the unit itself. Put it up here. As you can see, it's a very neat fake leather case. The dagger tube sits in the bottom here. There it is itself. It's got a couple different settings right here. Um, there is open, so that's beta. There is closed. So gamma radiation and the test source and that's its off position which is also gamma open up the case here you can see you can turn on the light and just turn it on yeah, kind of shake it there we go because uh, Canadian batteries are not the same as Russian batteries. Now that is just a battery test. I'm not getting anything radioactive right now. So there is its lowest setting. And I'll show you. If we turn this to test, you can see the meter rises. Right, there we go. See meters topping out. The other one, push the reset. And the meter will count. Now this is just for testing. It shows that the tube does work and everything. Oh, here yeah, we plug in the headset, and you can hear a classic dagger click noise. I don't know where the microphone is on this machine. On the camera, up top. You can probably hear a little click there. Be quiet. As I rotate this towards the test source, I begin to hear clicks. Fainter on the next setting. It's very cool. These are the type of units that were used in Chernobyl when they were uh, removing that danger. Very interesting topic. I hope you, uh, um, I suggest you check that out. But anyways, this is my uh, new Russian. Tiger counting machine, as you can see, in the 
normal atmosphere. We are currently safe. I'm gonna do another video if I can find some cool, interesting stuff to test. But uh, I like this newspaper here. Came with some cool Russian newspaper. You know, I can't read any of that, but it uh, looks like Russian people read the news too. And, um, it's cool article, right? There we go. Cats. Russian people like cats too. Very heartwarming. So, anyways, have a great day. Hope you enjoyed the video.